I, you know, I spent the majority of my life um, in the masculinity race. What does that mean? Trying to be masculine enough to get a gig. It's all about masculinity, and especially for a black man. Um, if you're not masculine enough, you're dismissed. Mm. Um, you can't work, you don't get jobs, you don't get work. It's, it's, it was a real thing for me at the beginning, well, for my whole life. It wasn't Hold just on. the business. Did you feel that you had to fake it until you make it? Well, I was just trying to be masculine enough, mm. you know, to get the gig and then, when I was about 40, I said, I'm going to take myself out of that race. I'm going to take myself out of that because clearly I'm not masculine enough. We ran into each other. We were flying to Boston. Yes, we were. We're like on a 4 a.m. <laughs> flight. We're both like eye masks, hiding in front of people. And you sh as they say, you shook me because you told me this story about Ryan Murphy. When yeah. you got the call from him mm -hmm. about unpacking some of the pain from the yeah. childhood, yeah. some of the rejection in the early part of your career yeah. to get where you are now. Yeah. What did Ryan tell you? Well, you know, we, we had been working for, for the first season pretty much, and he called me to lunch, and um, he essentially called me out because he said, okay, look, I want you to lean into the joy. And I took a, you know, I took a breath, and he's like, I know what it's been. I know how hard you've worked. I know it's hard to trust where you are now. But I need you to know that you're here. I got your back. You don't ever have to worry about anything again. And, you know, for a person who spent 13 years not working, bankruptcy, you know, all of the common things that everybody talks about, I went through them all, yeah. you know? And it just took my breath away. You know, you really do just need one person in a position of power, huh. you know, to open the door. Yeah. I wasn't asking anybody to give me anything for free. <laughs> I came with all of the tools, all of the talent, the entire skill set, and now the world yeah. gets to see that part of yeah. it. Yeah, one of the biggest and most influential houses uh, coming on to perform after this break. Yes. They are a part of the culture that inspired Pose. To see them also get the love, what does that mean for you, that you were inspired by your journey and now it's impacted these young kids? Well, I just feel like, you know, none of us are free till we're all free, mm. right? <laughs> and so, the space that we're in, where it's seemingly, we're seemingly so divided. Yeah. Is actually historically the moment when the people come together more than ever. Yeah. Because we have to, because we're required to, otherwise the whole thing will implode. And so creatively, we have always been at the forefront. Yeah as creatives of architects of change, you know? And so this is an example of that. We get to be architects of change. We get to put that kind of energy out in the world and change it, change the molecular structure of what's inside somebody's heart. Yeah. You know, and that is what creates the change for good, because wow. that's what we need.